Imagine this, one man's genetic legacy living inside millions of people today. Genghis Khan, the brutal warlord who carved out the largest contiguous land empire in history, didn't just reshape maps, he altered human DNA itself. But what if I told you that the Mongol Empire's genetic story holds even darker secrets? What if hidden in the bones of the past are traces of forgotten civilizations, lost bloodlines, and the haunting genetic scars of war? For centuries, Genghis Khan's name has been synonymous with conquest and destruction. His armies thundered across Asia and Europe, wiping out entire cities and reshaping societies. But while historians have chronicled the bloodshed, scientists are only now uncovering the genetic aftermath of his reign. The Mongols didn't just conquer land, they left their DNA scattered across continents, creating one of the largest genetic footprints in human history. In this video, we'll dive into the shocking truth hidden in Mongolia's DNA. We'll explore the genetic legacy of Genghis Khan, the lost clans of the steppes, and the dark side of expansion that forever altered the genetic landscape of entire populations. This is a story that bridges biology and history, science and myth, and it's more haunting than you might imagine. So, buckle up, because we're about to peel back the layers of the Mongol Empire's genetic code. The truth is more twisted, more brutal, and more fascinating than any legend you've ever heard. Before Genghis Khan became a name that struck fear into the hearts of empires, he was just a boy named Timujin, born into the harsh Mongolian steppes. His early life was anything but easy, his father was poisoned by rival clans, his family abandoned by their tribe, and Timujin grew up in constant danger. But this brutal childhood shaped him into the ruthless leader he would become. By the time he reached adulthood, Timujin had already endured starvation, imprisonment, and betrayal. Yet, he emerged stronger, driven by an unbreakable will to unite the fractured Mongol tribes. Through strategic alliances, merciless warfare, and an uncanny ability to inspire loyalty, he gradually brought the nomadic clans under his rule. By 1206, he declared himself Genghis Khan, universal ruler, and set his sights on the world beyond Mongolia. But what does this have to do with DNA? Well, the unification of the Mongol tribes wasn't just political, it was genetic. Genghis Khan and his warriors didn't just conquer, they integrated. Historical records suggest that Khan fathered dozens, possibly hundreds, of children. His most loyal generals and soldiers also spread their lineage across conquered lands, leaving genetic traces and populations from China to Persia. What's fascinating is that even modern genetic studies confirm this legacy. A groundbreaking study in 2003 found that around 8% of men in a vast region of Asia, roughly 16 million people, carry a specific Y-chromosome lineage believed to have originated with Genghis Khan. This means that his DNA didn't just survive the fall of his empire, it thrived. But the unification of Mongolia wasn't just about spreading a single bloodline. It was the beginning of an empire that would tear through the ancient world like a wildfire. And with every conquest, every assimilation, the genetic makeup of entire populations would shift. Some bloodlines would flourish, while others would be wiped off the face of the earth forever. The rise of Genghis Khan was the spark that ignited a genetic transformation across Eurasia. But the true impact of this transformation would only become clear as the Mongols expanded, carrying their DNA and their darkest secrets with them. When Genghis Khan's armies thundered across Eurasia, they didn't just reshape borders, they rewrote the genetic history of entire continents. The Mongols conquered over 22% of the world's landmass, from the Korean Peninsula to Eastern Europe. But what's even more staggering is the invisible empire they left behind, an empire encoded in human DNA. Scientists have discovered a genetic signature that traces back to the Mongol conquests. In that 2003 study, researchers found a specific Y-chromosome lineage present in millions of men across Asia. This lineage is estimated to have originated around 1,000 years ago in Mongolia, aligning perfectly with Genghis Khan's rise to power. The numbers are mind-blowing. Around 1 in 200 men worldwide are direct male line descendants of Khan himself. But this genetic legacy wasn't just the result of Genghis Khan's personal life. The Mongol military machine moved entire populations. 
Conquered cities were often depopulated through mass slaughter, but survivors, especially artisans, scholars, and skilled workers, were relocated across the empire. As a result, genes from the Middle East, China, and Eastern Europe blended in ways that had never happened before. For example, populations in Central Asia show a mix of East Asian and West Eurasian ancestry, a genetic fusion that intensified during the Mongol Empire's peak. This mixing wasn't always consensual. Historical accounts document the Mongols' brutal practices, including the forced assimilation of conquered peoples. Women from defeated cities were often taken as wives or concubines, contributing to the empire's sprawling genetic reach. What's even more haunting is how this genetic footprint still shapes modern populations. Certain Mongolic haplogroups appear in unexpected places, like parts of Russia and even isolated mountain communities in Iran. These traces act like living fossils of the Mongol conquests, preserving a biological record of history's most fearsome empire. But the genetic conquest wasn't just about spreading DNA, it was about erasing competing lineages. Some genetic studies suggest that the Mongol invasions caused drastic population declines, eliminating entire bloodlines. In regions like Khwarezm, modern-day Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan, the genetic diversity sharply contracted after the Mongol onslaught, leaving behind a narrow gene pool shaped by conquest. In short, the Mongols didn't just leave behind ruins and legends. They left behind a living, breathing genetic legacy that still flows through millions of people today. And as DNA research advances, scientists are uncovering more of this hidden empire, buried not in ancient tombs, but in the cells of modern humans. The genetic impact of the Mongol Empire is undeniable, but what's even more intriguing are the hidden clans and lost bloodlines that managed to survive in the empire's shadow. And those stories are just as fascinating as the conquests themselves. While Genghis Khan's DNA spread like wildfire, countless other bloodlines were snuffed out in the chaos of conquest. Entire clans disappeared, their genetic legacies erased as the Mongol war machine devoured city after city. But what if some of those lost lineages didn't vanish entirely? What if remnants of forgotten tribes still exist, hidden in the DNA of isolated populations? Genetic researchers have found traces of ancient lineages in modern Mongolian and Central Asian populations that don't match the known genetic profile of the Mongol ruling class. These genetic outliers are thought to belong to pre-Mongol tribes, groups that were absorbed into the empire but never fully disappeared. In remote areas of Mongolia and Siberia, people carry unique haplogroups that predate Genghis Khan's reign, suggesting pockets of ancient clans that somehow survived the genetic storm of the empire. One fascinating example is the Naaman and Merkit tribes, fierce rivals of Genghis Khan before he unified Mongolia. After their defeat, survivors were assimilated into Mongol society. Yet, Genetic studies show that distinct markers from these tribes persist in modern Mongolian DNA, like faint echoes of a people who refuse to be completely erased. Even more mysterious are the genetic traces found in populations outside Mongolia. In Kazakhstan, researchers have identified rare genetic markers that don't match the typical Mongolic profile but seem to be linked to ancient steppe nomads. It's possible these markers belong to tribes that once roamed freely before the Mongols swept across the steppes, leaving only fragments of their DNA behind. But the most haunting aspect of this lost genetic history lies in the brutal realities of Mongol conquest. When cities like Nishapur or Urgench fell, the Mongols reportedly killed hundreds of thousands of people. The loss of life was so vast that it left a genetic void, entire family lines were extinguished, their DNA wiped from the human story. The genetic diversity lost during these massacres is incalculable, a biological toll that lingers in the diminished genetic complexity of some regions today. Yet, even in the face of destruction, traces of resilience remain. The people who survived Mongol rule, whether through assimilation, migration, or sheer luck, carried their ancestors' DNA forward. And thanks to modern genetic research, these hidden lineages are coming to light, allowing us to rediscover clans long thought lost to history. So, while Genghis Khan's DNA may dominate the genetic landscape, it's not the only legacy of the Mongol Empire. Beneath the surface lies a deeper, more complex story, 
one of survival, adaptation, and the quiet persistence of bloodlines that refuse to be forgotten. And as we unlock more secrets from ancient DNA, we may find that Mongolia's darkest secret isn't just the spread of one man's genes, it's the buried history of the countless people who lived, fought, and died in the empire's shadow. For nearly 800 years, the final resting place of Genghis Khan has remained one of history's greatest mysteries. Despite being one of the most influential figures the world has ever seen, no one has ever found his tomb. But what if unlocking that ancient burial site could reveal more than just relics? What if it holds the ultimate key to understanding the genetic legacy of the Mongol Empire? According to legend, Genghis Khan's burial was deliberately hidden. His funeral procession supposedly killed anyone who crossed their path to keep the location a secret. Soldiers even diverted rivers to wash away traces of the tomb, and horses trampled the earth to erase any sign of digging. The lengths they went to conceal the grave suggest it was no ordinary burial, it might be the most well-preserved site of Mongolera genetics. Scientists believe that if they can locate the tomb and recover Genghis Khan's remains, they could extract ancient DNA and finally confirm the genetic lineage that spread across Asia. This would allow researchers to trace exactly how his bloodline dispersed, connecting the dots between historical conquests and modern populations. It could even settle debates about whether certain genetic markers truly originated with Genghis Khan or with other prominent Mongol leaders. In recent years, researchers have used satellite imagery and ground-penetrating radar to scan the vast Mongolian landscape. They've identified potential burial sites in the Kentiai Mountains, an area considered sacred and off-limits for centuries. But despite tantalizing clues, the tomb remains elusive, as if history itself is guarding the Khan's final secret. The potential discovery of the tomb raises ethical questions, too. Genghis Khan is a revered figure in Mongolia, and many believe disturbing his burial site would be a profound act of disrespect. Some local communities have even resisted archaeological expeditions, arguing that the Khan's spirit should be left in peace. But the scientific potential is undeniable. If researchers could access the tomb's contents, they might not just find Genghis Khan's DNA, they might uncover a genetic time capsule of the Mongol royal lineage. The bones of his family, generals, and closest followers could reveal the full extent of the empire's genetic influence, showing exactly how the Mongols shaped the biological map of Eurasia. In a way, the search for Genghis Khan's tomb mirrors the empire itself, vast, mysterious, and full of secrets. And while the physical tomb remains hidden, the Khan's genetic footprint is already carved into humanity's DNA, silently telling the story of the world's most powerful conqueror. But the mystery doesn't end here. Because even without the tomb, genetic science is pushing the boundaries of what we know about the Mongols. And as technology advances, we may be closer than ever to unraveling the final, darkest secret of Genghis Khan's empire. The Mongol Empire may have crumbled centuries ago, but its genetic legacy still casts a long shadow across the world. In some ways, Genghis Khan's empire never truly ended. It lives on in the DNA of millions of people across Asia and beyond. But the spread of Mongol genes wasn't just about conquest. It reshaped entire populations, creating genetic imprints that persist to this day. Studies show that regions directly impacted by Mongol expansion still carry significant genetic markers linked to steppe nomads. In places like China, Kazakhstan, and even Iran, distinct haplogroups tied to Mongol ancestry remain surprisingly common. These genetic traces tell a silent story of how Mongol warriors settled in conquered lands, married local women, and left behind descendants who unknowingly carry the blood of an empire. What's even more fascinating is how the Mongol genetic legacy intertwines with local histories. In parts of Central Asia, genetic evidence suggests that entire populations were reshaped by Mongol influence. Tribes that once existed as distinct groups were absorbed into the Mongol fold, their genetic identities fused with the conquerors. This blending created new ethnic identities, forever altering the region's genetic landscape. But the Mongol genetic shadow isn't just about Genghis Khan himself. His generals and sons carried the same steppe ancestry, spreading their lineage as they expanded the empire. 
In some areas, the genetic impact of Mongol aristocrats might be even stronger than that of the Khan himself. A reminder that the empire's genetic legacy wasn't the work of one man, but an entire ruling class. And as genetic research advances, we may discover even more unexpected connections. Who knows how many people alive today unknowingly carry the genetic fingerprint of Mongol expansion? Every new DNA sample brings us closer to understanding the true scale of this genetic legacy and reminds us that history isn't just something we read about. It's written in our very cells, carrying the echoes of ancient empires into the present day. The story of Genghis Khan's empire isn't just a tale of conquest and destruction, it's a story of survival, adaptation, and the enduring power of human connection. The Mongol Empire reshaped the world not only through warfare, but through biology, leaving behind a genetic legacy that still pulses through the veins of millions of people today. Genetics has given us a new way to understand history. It bridges the gap between ancient chronicles and living people, allowing us to trace the footsteps of long-lost civilizations through DNA. And the Mongol Empire, with its vast reach and unparalleled impact, is the perfect example of how science can illuminate the past. But the search isn't over. Every ancient bone unearthed, every genome sequenced, brings us closer to unraveling the empire's deepest mysteries. Will we ever find Genghis Khan's tomb? Will forgotten bloodlines reappear in unexpected places? The answers lie buried beneath centuries of history, waiting for scientists to dig them up, one strand of DNA at a time. What we do know is that the Mongol genetic legacy is vast, complex, and still evolving. It stretches across continents, connecting people who may have no idea they share a common ancestor. It reminds us that history isn't just a series of events, but a living force that continues to shape who we are. And perhaps that's the real power of Genghis Khan's empire. It wasn't just a political entity, it was a biological one, intertwining itself with the human story in a way few other civilizations ever have. The Mongols may have ridden into history on horseback, but their legacy endures in our blood, quietly shaping the genetic fabric of humanity. So, the next time you hear the name Genghis Khan, remember, his empire might be long gone, but its influence is still with us, written in our DNA. A permanent reminder of history's most unstoppable conqueror.